So, um, so that lesson is self-explanatory. The, the connecting to community, which is really an interesting way of finding out like who your students are and where they come from. I just want to, um, I'll pass this around. And I want to share with you the poem that I use. And it's a poem by Allen Ginsberg called My Sad Self. And then the poem that I wrote that was inspired by, 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 by Ginsberg's poem. My Sad Self to Frank O'Hara. Sometimes when my eyes are red, I go up on top of the RCA building and gaze at my world. Manhattan, my buildings, streets I've done feats in, lofts, beds, cold water flats, on Fifth Avenue below, which, is also, which I also bear in mind, it's ant cars, it's little yellow taxis, men walking the size of specks of wool, panorama of the bridges, sunrise over Brooklyn machine, sun go down over New Jersey, where I was born, and Patterson, where I played with ants, my later loves on 15th Street, my greater loves of Lower East Side, my once fabulous amours in the Bronx, far away, paths crossing in these hidden streets, my history summed up my absences and ecstasies in Harlem, sun shining down on all I own in one eye blink to the horizon in my last eternity, matter is water. Sad, I take the elevator and go down, pondering, and walk on the pavements, staring into all man's plate glass faces, questioning after who loves, and stop, bemused in front of an automobile shop window, standing lost in calm thought, traffic moving up and down Fifth Avenue blocks behind me, waiting for a moment when time to go home and cook supper and listen to the romantic war news on the radio. All movement stops and I walk in the timeless sadness of existence, tenderness flowing through the buildings, my fingertips touching reality's face, my own face streaked with tears in the mirror of some window at dusk where I have no desire for bonbons or to own the dresses or Japanese lampshades of intellection. Confused by the spectacle around me, <coughs> men struggling up the street with packages, newspapers, ties, beautiful suits toward his desire, man, woman streaming over the pavements, red lights clocking hurried watches and movements at the curb, and all these streets leading so crosswise, honking lengthily by avenues, stalked by high buildings or crusted into slums, through such halting traffic, screaming cars and engines, so painfully to this countryside, this graveyard, this stillness on deathbed or mountain, once seen, never regained or desired, in the mind to come, where all Manhattan that I must have that I must have, that, that I've seen, must disappear. I love that poem. <coughs>